Hello, sweethearts. And today I have another video. And today I'm doing B Love's challenge eat with no utensils. Okay, B Love, here we go. I got the same thing you had Popeye's chicken with the biscuit. I'm not going to eat the biscuit. Rice and beans, coleslaw, macaroni and cheese, and string beans. Then I have the honey, and I don't have Tabasco sauce, but I do have Frank's. I love Frank's. And for the drink, I have ice water. It's called Ice the brand, but it's water. I seen this challenge this morning and I said I'm going to do it today and I'm going to upload it this evening so I'm eating the same day I'm uploading thanks to you beloved so let's get it in as you would say hmm Now, I've never tried it with the um, honey, but I'm gonna try it. Ugh. Then I'll put some hot sauce on it. Excuse me. And the chicken, oh, this is good. And the chicken is spicy already. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many people do this challenge. Because I'm on it. I was excited to see that one. I said, oh, let me go get my stuff. Nate had a hard time. Okay, I'm not going to have no hard time eating with my fingers. Because I may even eat with my mouth. That is so good. Mm. I think I've started something. I've never had chicken with honey. But you want to taste something that's good? That's good. Now, I've never tasted a coleslaw. Mm. I've never tasted coleslaw. Let me put these right over here. Because I think that, personally, 
Kentucky Fried Chicken got the best coleslaw. But let's see about theirs. Not bad. I don't got no problem eating my hands. None. But your hands got all nasty. Can't even wipe your hands. I think she said no wiping hands too. So yeah, but that's all right. If you have or had southern parents or, or been raised by a southern woman, you know how to eat with your hands very well. <clears throat> Have you ever been in a situation where someone's standing right next to you <clears throat> and you speak to that person and they don't speak back? I've been in that situation. I used to work at a job several years ago. <clears throat> this is so good. Seems to me that eating with your hands make it taste better. I'm telling you, it does. I was in the kitchen at my job, my old job. I used to work to several years ago. And a VP of soft gel was in there with me. Now mind you, I always spoke to this person. I guess when people was around, he was he would speak back. But this specific day, I spoke to him and he was in arm's length where I can touch him getting his coffee like like I was. I said good morning. And he didn't say a word. I went back to my desk. And I said to myself, maybe he didn't hear me. I'll try again another time. 
the other time came, excuse me, the next morning. I said, good morning. He still didn't say anything. So I went to a friend of mine and I said to her, I can't remember the guy's name. Let's just call him Nick. I said, Nick didn't speak to me. This is the second day. I said good morning to him and he didn't say anything. She said, Maybe he didn't hear you. I said, he heard me. I was standing right next to him. How could he not hear me? She said, try it again. I said, okay. I said, well, the next time he's in, in the kitchen, I'll try it again. But I tell you this, if he does not speak to me, I will never speak to him again. Standing next to him, it doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna say maybe two days later, we were in the same predicament in the kitchen. Well, the kitchen was it's not, but wasn't that, but to me, it wasn't but that big. So I said, "Good morning." He didn't say a word. So I went to my friend and I said to her, third time is a charm." He didn't speak three times. I will never say good morning to him again. I'm not going to waste my positive energy on a negative person. Because it had me something negative he was even dealing with or maybe he just didn't like me. Who knows? So she said to me, so I told her I would never speak to him again. She said, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. He's the VP of Softail. And I said, I don't care what he is. If he don't respect me enough to say good morning to me, I'm not going to respect him enough to say good morning to him. So, excuse me. It might have been two days later. I seen him in the kitchen again. <clears throat> I got my coffee. And I walked out the kitchen. Now, my spirit was holding very, very down on me, holding me like, oh my God, Sandra, you should have never did that. But I said to myself, either he's gonna teach me a lesson or I'm gonna teach him one. Now mind you, I did that to him at least three times. Meeting him in the kitchen, not saying good morning to him. Ladies and gentlemen, a person knows when they're doing you wrong. When they said something wrong to you, when they did something wrong to you, they know when they've done you wrong. 
because they know and their spirit doesn't sit right. So I did not speak to him for at least three or four times. He must have went home and thought about all the times that I met him in that kitchen and he did not speak to me. A week later, he met me in the kitchen. my coffee and he was getting his he turned to me and said good morning and I turned to him and said good morning and I went down went back to my desk and I sat down cost anything to be nice to people. It costs you nothing to say good morning. It costs you nothing to say how are you? How's your day going? It costs you nothing to smile. You don't have to go in your pocket and pay anyone because you have to smile to them. You don't have to go in your purse and open your wallet and give anyone a dollar or two for a hello. These things are free. So why not be nice and kind to people? It costs you nothing. It's free. From that day on, every time he seen me in the kitchen, he would speak. And I wouldn't speak first, he would speak first. So that's why I say be nice to people. Be kind. You never know. Who are you speaking to? You never know when you may need that person. You never know. Because if you be nasty to someone and you don't even know that person, <clears throat> God will bring that person around some type of way where you need that person for something. You run into that person needing them for something. That very person that you was nasty to may be the person you need to interview with at a job one day. And he's gonna remember your face. You may not remember his or hers, but that person will remember you. Because sometimes people do not remember the nice things people do. But they sure will remember the nasty things that's done to them. And the face that did it to them. It could be 10 years down the road. You run into that person. And they will remember you. And you will not remember them. So be nice. It costs you nothing. Be love. I completed your challenge. Complete your challenge. <clears throat> you see what I'm saying?
see this nail right here? Cuz, I slammed it in the door the other day. In my car door. It was bleeding and swollen. <clears throat> Whew. I am done, guys. I thank you very much for eating with me. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit your notification button so you will be notified for all upcoming videos. I love you, I love you, I love you. And, and share this video with your friends and family. Okay? Thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you.